All right, there's a quick video of my finally put together uh, case. This is the uh, Mini ITX case that I've been working on, and I finally got one put together uh, just for the case, nothing else. But uh, you can see that the buttons work. So I'm putting it on there so it's easier to see because of the lighting. Um, the fan, it's a little bit in because it's not screwed in. So that's why it's falling back a little bit. But I kind of want to do a quick video. And um, let me show you what I got. So this is the CD-ROM piece in the middle. That is a uh, slim CD-ROM or a laptop CD-ROM. Uh, let me show you the, all the sides. I just finished putting the switches and uh, all of that good stuff in there. Um, so let me uh, take it apart here so you can see it. Uh, this is the top of the case. This is actually not white. This is uh, glow in the dark. That's why it looks white. So now we have the um, fan. It's just a regular 120 millimeter fan. And that's the inside of the uh, dry base. I can put uh, one, two, three, four, five, 3.5 drives or up to 11. 2.5 drives. So, so I had see I got the small holes for two drives on each bay here. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and then you'll see the reason I said eleven is because there's one more in the back of the uh, CD-ROM. So I have this unscrewed already, and you can see I got the CD-ROM here, and this is my space for my eleven drive. And that would be 12. So if I was using all serial ATA, I would need uh, 12 ports. The motherboards have six, and I know I could get a six. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A CD serial ATA card, and put it on the side, and then um, that will cover me. But that depends on if I use everything. So here is the uh, extra bay. That's why it came a little longer. Um, and why it comes out of the uh, plate where the computer actually stops because I wanted to add the uh, extra hard drive on here and there's a reason I wanted to do that um, this case is for a uh, my own NAS storage um, so that's why it has this extra uh, cage here but what I can do with this is I can make just a regular mini ITX uh, computer out of just this, um, this two pieces. And the way I did that was I basically made a cover for it. Let me put this aside for a minute. And you can see here I have one done. So I put a cover on it and now I can use just the bottom two pieces as a uh, mini ITX case uh, or a computer. So that's the back and that's the inside there too. I got all the cables in there. I'll go into the other one a little bit. And this one's screwed in. As you can see I put, uh, put them in there. Really nice. Um, let me get a close up of these switches. That's what they look like. Remember, they're all 3D printers, so they're not going to be perfect. But I got them working, and that's what they look like from the side there. Um, so you can also see the LEDs. I already got the LEDs in there on both. So that's what just the case looks like. So let me go back to uh, the NAS version here. Uh, basically, let me take this one off. Um, so there's that piece, and that's my uh, middle CD-ROM piece. Uh, you do need both this and this in order to make a full computer because there's no place to put the uh, 
hard drive alone over here. So now if I look inside here, there are all my uh, buttons. So I just put the LEDs in. These are my power switch and my reset switch. So that's ready to go. Um, I can set something up already. Uh, the reason it took me a while too is because I've been waiting for the uh, screws. Um, oh, here. So you can see I got slot here and here. And I even went all the way through because the plan was to put a screw all the way. If I can get a good lighting here. All the way down here. So since I can't get a screw that long or I couldn't find one that long, I ended up uh, just using getting the longest one I can get and I finally got it so I can put my nut down here and then uh, I have more uh, material to hold on to. Um, the reason I made the top one is because it's actually the same height as the back one so that I can use the same size screws that I had just to test it out but uh, I just got the longer screws so that was pretty nice now I got them here and then they're working great um, so basically that's what the whole case is um, these are just uh, side panels that come up I can uh, take them out and change them and leave them out or whatever but um, that's basically my case and then I um, let's see here line it up it just sits in there and looks like one piece the uh, next piece is the uh, drive cage the reason I wanted to make my own is basically because I wanted to be able to put in whatever motherboard I want it as long as it's a mini ITX motherboard I can put a uh, whatever CPU I want and also my old NAS only has four drives 3.5 base and so I added an extra one here just because um, I had the space I'm sure I could have squeezed another one in there but I didn't want to make it too big because one they get too heavy and too hot and I only have one fan and I also wanted the option to either use the large drives or just the small 2.5 drives so I can pick and choose now I mean I really wanted it to be uh, uh, very flexible yeah, in order to use whatever I want um, it's depending on the hard drives you know I'm never done with splash so you can buy whatever and with the big ones now I can buy pretty large large ones so I don't even have to put all five I could just use maybe three or two or whatever um, to replace my old one but uh, this is what it looks like I do have this uh, uh, what do you call that CD-ROM that I use to uh, basically uh, test fit it um, this two holes are basically for uh, two USB ports um, I wanted to leave that option on there I didn't make any holes here because there's so many different types and um, what do you call it? Um, so I want to leave that option to be able to uh, just drill a hole wherever, depending on the uh, USB ports that you get. Um, I basically took the measurements for the, the the two holes from one that I just bought. Um, so I could also use those if I want to, but does the back is placed a little differently, so I would still have to make some holes in there. But that's no big deal. Uh, let me show you the back of the CD-ROM. I already uh, have that screwed in there. So you can see um, I got it all set up. So that's pretty nice. Uh, yes, I did put my initials on it. I was making this for myself. And uh, I guess I branded it in the front too. Um, yeah, just having a little fun here. I actually like the way the back one came out. get this on there so I have it on the back too right here so that one looks pretty sweet um, and then this is open because the CD-ROM is right here but uh, the reason I also left these openings is because I want to uh, let some uh, air, air uh, circulation that's why this is open it's not all the way up I want the air to uh, circulate 
And the same with the top. I just get this on here. So there's some uh, space. I actually, I actually uh, let me get the light here. This thing keeps uh, getting blurry. I actually uh, raised this one a bit. This one's a little uh, bent out because I think I took it off the 3D printer a little too quick. But I have raised this uh, another five millimeters, so the space is a little less. Doesn't look too bad. Um, of course, I've been making changes as I went, and then I uh, made a few more changes on the plate or the side plate to uh, make it a little bit stronger. But uh, let's see here. Let me back up, give you another look. That's what the back looks like. This is for uh, one of those uh, small uh, power supplies that I can put in there. Um, the other side. And the holes here are for the fan uh, that I can screw the fan under. Uh, and I get left a couple extra holes for other things I'm thinking about. But uh, there you go. That's the uh, 3D printed NAS case for you.